So now that you know what the hybrid approach is, that's part one. That's the first lesson of the holy grail approach, right? It's the hybrid approach. And that's combining the strategies onto multiple time frames, right? Higher time frames is as an example, ABO, IBO, CBO on a higher time frame, and a strategy on a lower time frame, ABO, IBO, CBO, and so on, right? That is the hybrid approach. It's stacking confluence factors from multiple time frames and it's combining swing trading and day trading together, right? For an amazing reward risk ratio and a very high, high confluent trade, right? Setup. So that is the hybrid. That's part one of the holy grail. I have a holy grail part two, right? And that is a little bit different. It's a little bit of a different approach. And the idea there is to find a really nice higher time frame setup, right? We don't really need to have a strategy in the higher time frame, but it would be nice, right? But the idea here is stacking setups, strategies on the lower time frames, right? So let's say we execute an IABO, right? But what if an IBO presents itself? What if a CBO presents itself? What if an ACB presents itself? All during that same intraday trend and that same daily run. That's what we're gonna be looking at here in this lesson. It's a really good one and it's literally a holy grail part two, which is also scaling in or trading that daily run. Let's have a look. So this is a really interesting concept. We're gonna have a look at an example here that has literally Every single strategy has an ABO, an IBO, a CBO, and an ACB. I'm skipping the phase line break on this one, but it has all the major strategies that fit within the Elliott Wave Theory. ABO, IBO, CBO, ACB. It's perfect. It's a perfect intraday trend. It's a beautiful daily run as well, right? So this happens once in a while where literally you can execute every single strategy during that same daily run or that same intraday trend, which gives you a lot of reward as well, right? A little bit more risk, but a lot of reward. So let's have a look at this example here. If we look at the charts here, you can see, again, I don't have any positions drawn in. I'll do them live with you, but let's have a quick analysis of the higher time frames. And just a quick, really quick breakdown. Monthly chart has got this triple bottom, right? That's about it. Monthly time frame has got this triple bottom, and we have a few more rejections, which is a really good higher time from support level, right? One rejection, two, three, and then four, five, six. Beautiful, right? So we have beautiful support. So we're as assuming a bullish move from this support level. Then we go on the weekly chart, right? And a weekly chart has got this double bottom. Again, multiple rejections of that support level. And again, if we zoom out, we would see the same rejections as on the monthly chart. So beautiful. And again, weekly chart has got this double bottom of the time of the setup. Daily chart, same thing, you know, same support level. We have a triple bottom on a daily time frame, And again, multiple rejections off of that same support area. So if we zoom out again, we would see multiple rejections from this level. Now, now that this is a double bottom or a triple bottom, you could potentially take this as kind of like a breakout and push it as far as possible. Obviously you could push it to the weekly 50 EMA or to the next support and resistance level if you wanted to or you can just take multiple quick in and out positions as you go up, right? So you can take longer term trades if you want or quicker in and out position really depending, depending on your style and how you view these higher time frames. But I just really wanna talk about what could happen here. So now that we know that there's a higher time frame opportunity here, there's some support, triple bottoms and all that good stuff. If we look at the lower time frames, one of the first things that we'll see is support which is again the same support that we have seen on the higher time frames monthly weekly daily right so these lows here we have bullish monthly divergence on this one hour chart right i tend to close my bullish my, my macd divergence indicator but again here it is we got bullish macd right macd is something that you can utilize as a beginner you can even utilize it throughout your entire trading career as a professional and so on right i typically just I have it open, but then I turn it off. You know, I just close it myself. Um, and then when I analyze a chart, I just pop, pop it open, see what's going on, if nothing there, or if there's something there, and then I just close it to keep my charts nice and clean. But anyway, right, so when we look at it here, what do we have? We have an ABO, okay? So you can see that as 
the daily chart is bottoming out here with this triple bottom at this major support level on the monthly, weekly, daily, right? All of a sudden, we started to develop this double bottom and this price action pattern here on the one hour chart. Now, the question is, do we have volume? Do we have candlestick formation? Do we, does it fit the criteria, right? So it is good support on the four hour chart as well. And then check it out, tweezer bottom, reversal setup right here. Okay, so we got a tweezer bottom and then we had volume increase okay perfect so perfect breakout and at the time of the entry even the four hour chart had a little little double bottom and was developing a tweezer bottom itself beautiful so the advanced breakout is perfect here and again you can take that abo right here i'm just going to draw it in on the one hour chart just because it will be easier to explain but here it is and again if you wanted to target the four hour 50 ma you could you know, stop loss roughly like that, you know, and you're banking about 3.5% or you can go wider on your stop loss a little bit safer, you know, and you'll make 2.5 and so on. Beautiful, you know, and profit target was hit. Now, obviously you can stretch this farther, right? You can push this all the way up to the weekly 50 MA, maybe even the daily 20 or the daily 50, or like I said, the weekly 50 all the way up there, right? If you wanted to. So let's say you wanted to push it all the way up to the weekly 50. So to this next major resistance level just below the weekly 50 EMA, that would have been 67.1 approximately. So if we take this up all the way up to 67.1, that's an 11% position, right? It's an 11% trade. So we'll see what happens here, okay? But let's say we're gonna stack multiple trades like this, okay? And I'll just kind of hide this for now and then we're gonna see the final result, okay? But now this broke out to the upside on the one hour chart, right? And check out, check out the four hour chart, double bottom, higher high. One hour chart, double bottom, higher high. So what do we have now? This is an IBO A. It's the most, it's the best IBO we can get. It's an IBO A because we got this trend change on the four hour chart. At this point, we already had this bullish rejection right there. Okay, so this is where that IBO was happening on a daily time frame. Beautiful, you know. So again, you can take execute this with a live entry right here. Okay, five minute break, volume spike exactly at that point on the five minute chart as well. You can see, right? So you can enter right there when the one hour chart developed that tweezer with um, a bullish engulfing really you know, on the break and retest of the 1 hour 50 MA. Let me actually draw in the Fibonacci retracement. There we go. And actually, let me do one thing to make this a little bit larger for you guys. Okay. Just makes the numbers and digits a little bit larger. There we go. So now when we zoom in here on this one hour time frame, again, we can see that an IBO A has presented itself. Beautiful four hour chart. Even at the time of the entry, the four hour chart gave us a bullish lotus, a lotus reversal. Beautiful, right? So it's a great trade. So it's time to execute, right? So if you were to take it, and again, if you wanted to target that same level, again, your stop loss would have been 0.75. Target that same area, and that was exactly, let me confirm, 67.1. So this is called scaling, okay? This is when you get in with like an ABO, sometimes an IBO presents itself right after, right? So you can scale in with another trade and you can remove risk. So how do you remove risk so that you don't, you're not risking 2% or 3% or 4% with multiple scalings? Right, so that you only are ever risking 1%. Check this out, right? So see where my stop loss is on an IBO, okay? And see where my entry price is on this ABO. Okay, let me actually make this larger. Okay, we're targeting the same area, right? But I don't wanna have 2% on risk, right? So when I'm executing that IBO and I have an ABO already running, check it out, I can take my stop loss I'm going to just draw it in here. I can take my stop loss 
and let me mark it in stop and I'll put it here ABO so you can see on the right hand side this is the stop loss for the ABO I can take it and move it to the same stop loss as the IBO right there and guess what I'm already locked in profit I don't have any risk on the I on the ABO setup because check it out once the ABO breaks that one hour 50 EMA you can bulletproof the position you can take your stop loss and remove all risk and that's exactly what happened broke out so take your stop loss on the ABO remove all risk so we're targeting 11% of this ABO and zero risk at this point so we can scale in now an IBO presented itself so we can execute an IBO as the ABO is running for another 8.5% and only risk 1% on that IBO. Pretty simple, right? And now we're making about 20%, potential 20% on this setup, right? So let's go farther. Now, if we continue, it continued higher here with massive bullish momentum on uh, right here on the 20th, right? So what do we have now? Now we're accelerating to the upside. Now the weekly chart closed with this big inside bar reversal confirming that double bottom setup right so there's so much momentum here so this seems like it's going to continue going higher and what do we have now check it out so let me draw in fibonacci retracement here on the four hour time frame from the lows to the highs now we broke out right fully right there check out the cursor on the one hour chart and the four hour chart fully broken out and now we're pulling back for a cbo Right, so there, there was already an ABO opportunity, there was an IBOA opportunity, and now there's a CBO. Perfect. So check this out. Right, so now that there's a CBO, guess what? Now we can execute potentially another opportunity. So price pulled back, broke the 1 hour 50 a little bit, but check it out. We have the 1 hour 50 MA, we have 0.382, and we have the 4 hour 50, all lining up roughly in this exact same spot. Right. So now it decelerated, it rejected that zone. So even though it broke the 1 hour 50 MA, it was still between the 1 hour 50.32 and the 4 hour 50. So it rejected the 4 hour 50 and 0.32 Fibonacci perfectly with a tweezer bottom on the 1 hour chart, right? So now we execute the, another position here. And let me draw it out. I'm going to draw Fibonacci retracement on the 1 hour chart as well, just so we can see our position here we go and volume spiked entry happened right there on the five minute break again targeting the same level i'll adjust that in a second and stop loss on cbo is what 0.618 fibonacci okay so see where my stop loss is on the cbo it's above the entry price of the ibo so what can you do? You can, let's toss in another, actually, I'm gonna take the same stop loss, right? Check it out, check it out. This is interesting. And now this is the stop loss for the ABO and it's the stop loss for the IBO, okay? I'm just gonna use the same line. But imagine you just moved both stop losses up. So now you can take the stop loss of the ABO and the IBO and move it to the stop loss of the CBO, right? So check it out now. Now we have absolutely zero risk on this position. How? We're risking 1% on the CBO, but we've already locked in about 2% on the ABO. You see that, right? Because we moved our stop loss with the ABO up, we removed all risk from the IBO, and we put our stop loss of the ABO and the IBO stop loss to the same level as the CBO. Locking in profit on the ABO, removing risk on the IBO risking one percent on the cbo so at this point we're about one percent in profit altogether because we are sitting about two percent on the abo about 0.5 of a percent on the ibo and minus one percent risk on the cbo so altogether we're just above one percent profit zero risk at this point right and now we can take a cbo for another four percent so now we're pushing about 24 percent profit crazy yeah and zero risk we're actually locking in one percent profit already aiming for 24 crazy right 
but these are again beautiful setups on uh, all together it's a beautiful abo beautiful ibo beautiful cbo now it continues farther right so now as it continues the 4 hour 50 ma moves up right let's say we're using long-term management here because it is a it is a longer term trade we're pushing we're scaling in for a longer term opportunity right so let's say we use long-term management and we remove risk on the cbo now right so as price goes up now we remove risk on the cbo so now we're locking in about i would say one two three four percent i would say on the abo roughly we locked in about two percent on the ibo so we're running at about six percent profit zero risk on the cbo at this point so we're running at about six percent profit with zero risk on the cbo and now price is going up and check out what happens next right so it hits our profit target right it hits that support and resistance level on the weekly 50 ma and the daily resistance so all together this trade or catching this what we just did here we scaled in to the intraday trend and we scaled into that daily run with three positions all together we executed an abo removed risk on that abo when we executed the ibo then we executed the ibo right sorry we executed the abo then an ibo presented itself we removed the risk on the abo then a cbo presented itself we removed the risk on this ibo now we're running in profit and the only risk that we have is on the cbo and then we removed risk on the cbo and we're running at about six percent profit locked in and then profit target was hit at this level here which was right there weekly 50 just below the weekly 50 but mainly this daily resistance at 67.1 so how much profit did we make let's add it up 11 percent on the abo 8.5 on the ibo and 3.9 on the cbo it's a total of 23.4 percent that's the potential here of scalings right now just know this doesn't happen a lot but it does occur sometimes you're going to be able to get into two positions now sometimes there are pullbacks on a daily chart like this is a breakout play it could be like an abo breakout so you know there'll be even nicer opportunities where we're fully with the daily trend this is kind of still a breakout play imagine this was an ibo fully we can catch a whole wave three run you know if this was an ibo setup which there you can catch a higher time from ibo like this you can catch a higher time from cbo so this is even adding more to the hybrid approach it takes more dedication right but it's adding more to the hybrid approach so imagine we have a beautiful strategy on the higher time frame and then we have multiple opportunities on the lower time frame to get in to scale into that higher time frame opportunity that's the potential that we have here right and we made 23.4 percent but we're not done we locked in 23.4 percent and then what happened check out the four hour chart price pulled back beautifully rejecting the four hour 50 and the previous highs okay let's draw our fibonacci all the way from the lows here to the highs actually you can fibonacci should be drawn in from wave three run which wave three runs really beginning here or here right on the four hour chart it's more accurate right there so rejecting the four hour 50 point three to fib the previous four hour highs this is an acb and then you look at the one hour time frame sorry it looks a little bit weird with the positions here but we look at the four hour one hour time frame and we have a flag breakout all right we have a whole flag right here or a wedge with a tweezer bottom rejecting the four hour 50.32 and four hour support so now guess what now you can take another position volume kicked in on a five minute chart targeting the highs right and it looks like it would have just been missed stop loss just below the lows so you're aiming for 3.5 percent profit target was just missed so you could have executed the 
close the position here with short-term aggressive management because your profit target was just missed and then you started to form a four-hour high test so as that four-hour high test developed i mean at that point it's a lower high at that point we already rejected this resistance again for the second time right form the lower high with a high test on a four hour chart. So this will be a discretionary or, or short term aggressive type of exit because your profit target was just missed. So you're exiting for 2% profit, 26% in total. That's holy grail part two. That is the scaling approach or simply you can also reference it as trading the run. Okay, S scaling in. The reason why I call it a scaling because you're adding multiple opportunities right within the intraday trend but it's also you can call it reference it as trading the daily run because I mean we're trading the daily run and scaling in with multiple strategies on the lower time frame so that's it for this example right you can see how much potential there is within the holy grail setup and utilizing these strategies and combining it with multi time frame analysis it's crazy right now know that this is rare and whether you have the emotional stability stability to execute this probably at the beginning you might not you know you and a lot of times traders just execute one trade remove risk and let it run the hybrid which is still amazing i mean you executed this as a hybrid whether it was an abo you made 11 percent. if it was an ibo you made eight percent and you could have just held it as an I hybrid with one trade right but there was an opportunity here to scale in with multiple with multiple side of setups an abo an ibo a cbo and even an acb at the end right for a potential of 26 percent profit so that is the scale and approach know that this does not happen too often but it does happen whenever we have a hybrid approach a strategy on the higher time frame there's an opportunity for multiple scale ins on the lower time frame so whenever we're executing a hybrid, there might be an opportunity with multiple scalings. And if there is, that's how you do it. And that's how you remove your risk by trailing that stop loss, removing risk as you execute the ne next setup. So in this case, it was an ABO. Then as I was executing the IBO, I removed the risk on the ABO. Then as I'm executing the CBO, I removed the risk on the IBO. Now I have zero risk on the first two trades and only risking 1% on the third. You see the beauty in that, right? So you're never really risking more than 2%. You don't have to with this. With this scale and approach, you don't have to risk more than 2%. You don't have to risk more than 1%. That's the beauty, right? So here we risk, literally, we only risk 1% to make 26. Beautiful, right? So that's just an example. Sometimes you might, a lot of the times it's common where you get two. You might get like an ABO and an IBO or an IBO and a CBO. It's rare that you were going to execute all three, but it happens, you know, and you can see it beautifully here. So that is it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you see how much potential there actually is utilizing classical charting principles, multi-time from analysis, Elliott wave theory, and applying the strategies, right? There's so much potential within this trading masterclass and this trading approach and you just need to figure out what kind of style you want to execute as day trader swing trader and just figure out your management techniques and so on and just learn this stuff but here we combined it all together we combined multi time from analysis Elliott wave theory all the strategies the management techniques this is the whole package so at this point you pretty much understand the whole package as we go a little bit later farther into the lessons i'll touch on a few more advanced concepts that will help you out a little bit more but you pretty much know what you need to know so that is it for the holy grail approach part one and part two the hybrid and the scaling hope you enjoy that and i'll chat to you next time take care